How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews. Back with yet another review. A little bit of Atlanta. Hopeful brewery goodness. First time new brewery goodness in the form of... This is a Monday Night Brewing. It is their Mischief Managed. It's a uh, wine barrel aged raspberry Berliner Weiss, uh, German style sour ale as they put it on here. Um, yeah, Monday Night Brewing. Actually never had anything from these guys before. Never really heard of them. Um, but then I ended up getting a box of beer. It was weird, very weird. And I'm getting a box of beer uh, from a gentleman by the name of John from Atlanta. And he threw in a bunch of cans in there. He has a brewery actually in Panama. and um, But he's out of Atlanta a lot of times. And he sent me a bunch of beers. And he's like, I want to send you some uh, Atlanta beers. And one of those was a um, Monday Night Brewing um, beer. I haven't reviewed that one yet. But the day he said he was sending me the beers, the day these guys reached out, they said, hey, man, I'd love to send you some beer. So it was a weird kind of coincidence going on. And uh, I was like, awesome. Send some stuff off. And they sent me two bottles. And they sent me um, this and another barrel aged beer. So I'm super excited to give it a whirl because for a couple of reasons, they look delicious. And we'll get in all the other stuff. As far as what else it says in this label, it says German style sour ale aged in white, white wine barrels with raspberries added. Um, it's uh, they're part of the garage series, it looks like. It says a mistress managed is a white wine barrel aged sour and barrel fermented. No boil Berliner Weiss. Uh, fresh raspberries were added to barrels for secondary fermentation. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Happy that. Uh, yeah. Monday, Monday Night Brewing, Atlanta, Georgia. 2018 version. Uh, label wise, that is absolutely freaking fantastic. Look at that label. The artwork is great, but the thing that is just as nice is the texture. Listen to it. It's just fantastic. So, the art design. Um, to everything about it, I really dig. So, anyway, let's give this a whirl, see what she's got. Yeah, a little, it's non boil raspberry Berliner Weiss, so it's cold fermented or cold brewed, I guess you would say. <laughs> see what she's got. As you can see in the new digs, there's going to be a bunch of reviews of me kind of sitting in this little breakfast nook um, because I am in the middle of moving and I just don't have my stuff set up yet. So you'll have to deal. I kind of actually like the look of it and the way it looks. It's a little bit less busy. Let's put it that way. Uh, what do we have? Explosive carbonation. Um, head that dissipated super quickly. And yeah, she looks like raspberries. I mean, she's just a rich golden kind of raspberry in color. No head to speak of. A little bit of legs on her. So yeah, definitely looks the part of a sour beer. Looks more like a, like a sprightly kind of soda. Or even like a like a rosé kind of whiny kind of color to it, but having like a white wine spritzer kind of kind of thing somewhere around there. Let's see if the, she has on the nose. I'm getting that kind of tart kettle souriness, but I'm also getting something a bit deeper in that kind of uh, more bacteria deeper meatier kind of sourness now whether that's coming from the white wine could be but it's, it smells a bit more robust than just your typical kettle sour fresh bright um fruity kind of raspberries in there you're getting a bit of that kind of white wine kind of grapey vinousness very uh light but very kind of tart a bit more soured than your typical Berliner Weiss, like I said. And there's this kind of sprightliness to it, this brightness to it, this kind of effervescence to it. Let's dive in. Cheers. Mm. Super tart. Super. Super tart. Not a bad thing. Um, yeah, I mean, you're getting heaping helpings of fruit in here reddish fruit raspberries but there's a bit more to it than just a raspberry it has this kind of tight carbonation to it it looked very aggressive very sprightly from a distance but the carbonation isn't that explosive it's just there's a lot of it and it's very minute it's not very explosive because of how delicate it is. Delicate's the word we're going to be dancing around. Um, it's got a very chuggable kind of mouthfeel to it. It's not thin. In the grand scheme of things, it's a thin beer. But for its style and what it's trying to be, it's not a thin beer. I'm trying to sneeze here. Um, I think I fought it off. 
super excited when I do that. Anyway, especially on camera, you don't want to see me sneeze. I do it every now and then, but it sucks. Anyway, um, now that white wine barrel. It's definitely adding an extra layer of tartness, an extra layer of kind of rich, kind of, how do I want to put it? Let's just backtrack. It's very much like a Jolly Rancher. Let's put it that way. A Jolly Rancher seems a sweetness. This is very close to kind of a mixture of kind of a, a strawberry Jolly Rancher. Did they make a raspberry one? I don't know if they do or not. It reminds me of a strawberry kind of Jolly Rancher. So you're getting that kind of sweet tartiness thing going on. And that's a combination of your white wine, your Berliner Weiss kind of working together. It's like almost like Berliner Weiss on steroids in that way. But you do get a little bit of dryness from that kind of wood uh, that the, um, the wine barrel was in too. So it's a weird thing to where it's like super, super drinkable, super uh, refreshing, um, aggressive with the tartness, but at the same time, the dryness makes you want to kind of go back for more sip wise. So it's like a very fun kind of, um, I don't know, aggressively delicate. I know that kind of makes sense. It's like, it's like porcelain. And that porcelain is a super delicate material. You know, you drop something in porcelain and it just smashes everywhere. But you take a piece of that smashed porcelain, you whip it out a window, you're going to break that window. You don't think about porcelain in two different kind of realms like that being something that could break something so hard while at the same time, do you know what I mean? Itself being delicate. And that's kind of like the vibes I get off this beer. It's, 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 a, it's a powerful, uh, <laughs> delicate beer. It's a... 19 different synonyms back and forth um, off those two of the whole delicate kind of um, powerful thing and I like it the tartness is a little bit bigger than what I usually get down with so in that realm I'm getting used to it uh, with every sip but that initial sip was a really big pop there but it's bringing me back kind of like to how, how um, uh, those Jolly Ranchers, I haven't had a Jolly Rancher, I can't remember when, but it's bringing me back to those kind of childhood memories of eating the Jolly Ranchers. That in and of itself is cool. It's tasty. It's nice. It's delicious. I think it's fantastic. It's one of the more um, uh, unique uh, Berliner Weiss variants I've had in a while. A lot of your Berliner Weisses and Gozes and your Kittle Sours tend to get to be a bit quite noisy and that they end up being kind of like the same beer over and over again i don't remember having one quite like this and that's a good thing um to stick out in a world filled with beer styles just like this that are so similar that in of itself serves this deserves a little bit of praise um so yeah let's talk about it is it one of the better uh you know barrel aged um sour beers that have had as of late if i put it into that kind of category it, it's probably worthy of being in the conversation but not definitely not towards the top if we knock that down to barrel aged kettle sours which i haven't had a ton of it it'd automatically get in but it'd also be close to leading the pack um value availability no idea uh, like i said monday night uh, sent this off to me so somebody out there in the atl would like to uh uh chime in on how to get this and how much it costs that would be fantastic and leave you with if you like what will you like this if you like raspberries, if you like Jolly Ranchers, if you like that kind of <laughs> delicate, powerful thing combination, and if you just like tasty, unique, delicate, yet powerful. It's like a Jaguar commercial. Beers. Um, yeah. It's tasty. It's nice. If you like fruit forward beers, if you just like that whole kind of non-super enamel ripping sour, uh, and you like your fruit in your beers, put in a really nice, beautiful, fresh way, definitely worth a whirl. So there you go. Another review in the books. Down there, words and stuff and things. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Untapped, Massive Beers. All four of those places if you want to check me out doing that stuff. Uh, conversely, you can go into Google and type in Beer Massive, M-A-S-S-I-F, and see me doing a podcast thing. And yeah, another every down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice barrel-aged kettle sour right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.